Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, some heavyweight news, right? Uh, first, uh, I talk about one of the heavyweights that, you know, when I always talk about him, I always say whatever, right? You know, because uh, it's always in the news, so I, ca I can't really cover him because I don't take him serious. And that's Tyson Fury. Even though he's our heavyweight champion, WBC style, and uh, Ring Magazine champion, which I don't care about Ring Magazine either, but, I mean, he is the champion. He beat Deontay Wilder twice. And so, uh, you know, he, he's one of the men, him and, and Uzik. But, uh, you know, the fight that he was saying, you know, because he and Uzik was supposed to fight in early in the year, right, in 2023. And you know how Tyson Fury does, you know, he always comes up with something. He wants to fight somebody, uh, want to fight uh, Anthony Joshua. And he gave Anthony Joshua a deadline for Monday, right? And, you know, it's like Anthony Joshua can't sign a contract like that that quick, so it's off, right? Instead of just saying, listen, I want to fight Manuel Char as an interim fight. Because that's who it is. I don't even know why we're talking about Manuel Char. It's like, think about this. Manuel Char should fight Tyson Fury because of... You finished that sentence, right? Because of what? Why would we even talk about Manuel Char? He needs to get a significant win to be talking... You know, it's a whole bunch of people we could be talking about instead of Manuel Char. But anyway, so Manuel Char is who he wants to fight. Manuel Char seems to be calling out Fury. Because Fury basically is... Um, that's what I know. That's why I don't really... I can't tell you. Hey, Fury says he's going to fight Joshua. I reported to you guys. He said he was going to fight Joshua on December 3rd, and that's what he wanted to do. After that, I left it alone until something happens. And what happens is that fight is supposed to be off, which it was never on. Okay? So, Mano Char is going to be the guy, and Mano Char is something that's going to happen, so we won't get the undisputed fight with Uzik. That's why I always say when undisputed fights happen or about to happen, something weird goes down every time. Right. So that's what that's happening as, as far as that goes. So let's talk about heavyweights or fighters that are legends already. And that'll be Alexander Uzik. Alexander Uzik beats Anthony Joshua twice after becoming undisputed in cruiserweight division. Now he has three belts, unified champion in the heavyweight division. He really wants to become undisputed. Right. So the, he was going to fight in early in the year. We have to understand he left Ukraine. Right. Where the war is to just fight. And he has to go back there and take care of things and also heal with two fights with Anthony Joshua, who's six, five or six, six, 250 pounds, uh, two, two fights. You're going to have to heal, you know. So that's what he's doing. But in the meantime, he says, Tyson Fury, uh, whatever, the dude's a lunatic. I ain't got time to be listening to him. But we want to fight undisputed, undisputed, you know, but if he doesn't, we, whatever. Right. So what does he do? I want to go get the one who you guys say the most is dangerous. That's Deontay Wilder. That's what he did last week or the week before. So he's down for fighting Deontay Wilder. But who's the hottest guy right now? Right. That'll be Joe Joyce after beating Joseph Parker. So even Joe Joyce, who wasn't on Uzik's list to fight. Uzik was just wanted to fight after Joshua. They wants undisputed with Uzik and then uh, Deontay Wilder. And I think he was going to call it a quits. Wants to fight one time in Ukraine before retiring. Right. That's what his, the plan is. But there's somebody hot in his division now, Joe Joyce. So his point is, well, if it has to be Joe Joyce after Tyson Fury, then that's Joe Joyce. There is no, here's the, the reason why people like Alexander Uzik, Terrence Crawford, Devin Haney and the likes, right, speak a whole different language than the other ones we'd be hearing about. It ain't no, well, I better talk to my team, right, uh, see what my promotion company thinks, we might be on the other side of the street, which I told you guys is a damn myth anyway. That's do you hear that? From from Terrence Crawford, Alexander Ozick, Devin Haney. We're gonna make the damn fight happen if you supposed to be awesome in my division. Because those fighters do not tolerate somebody being awesome in their division without meeting them. That's what's up. That's why I'm doing this video again, because it's just another one of those. Alexander Uzik is a legend now. So let's fathom that right now. Yes, I'll fight Joe Joyce, too, after Tyson Fury, after the undisputed fight. What can you ask for as a consumer, as a sport fan? Remember, boxing fans second, sport fans first, which means we don't care about all the other stuff. We, we care about the sport aspect of it. And that is something where fighters like Alexander Uzik have to be, just have to be respected. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm up out of here, y'all.